Hello, I'm Lisa and I welcome you to Fabulously Fit Folks. Today we are making a collard green wrap and basically it's using a collard green rather than um, a collard green leaf rather than a tortilla shell to create a delicious stuffed healthy wrap. It will be much fewer calories than what you'd have with a traditional wrap because you don't have the corn or the, the carbs from the bread. Um, and actually it should taste pretty good. So for today's wrap, we have organic stuffed collard greens. We have diced red bell pepper. We have sprouts, a mixture of different sprouts. Diced celery, fresh basil diced portobello mushrooms, scallions diced, and chopped spinach. And as a little bit of a binder, we have hummus. Um, you can buy any kind you want. What I have here are the Cedars Organic Original Hummus. You can get hummus with different flavors if you want. But I just want it as a basic binder. I'm really going to allow the food products to speak for themselves. So I will not show you as I wrap each one. I'm going to do maybe one or two and then afterwards um, they'll be all finished up. There'll be a little final photo of the finished five wraps that I'm making and bon appetit. You can stuff them with whatever, whatever you want. I just find this combination to be very delicious. So without further ado, let's grab our collard green leaf. I'm going to lay it down flat and what you want to do with the leaves, the stem, kind of helps to hold it together. So some people completely trim the stem out, and I do have one here, this bottom leaf that I've trimmed the stems completely out of. Um, but I also find that for me, just thinning it out makes it so that I can fold it and still have a good sturdy wrap. And so what I do is I take a knife and slowly skim along the back edge of the collard grain until I get it about as thin as the front part is. So let's get started. I'm going to take one full tablespoon of hummus and we're going to spread it across here. And again, we're just going to kind of act as our binder. It smells so good. So once you spread that out on your collard grain here, as thin as you can. And if you're not really good at wrapping a tortilla shell, like for a burrito or anything, and I'm not, um, just make it as tight as you can. Like, so what I like to do is go ahead and put in a few little bell peppers here. And then take a nice good amount of our sprouts and spread them out. The sprouts will kind of act as a bit of a binder too. Spread them out in here really well. Then I want to lay just one thin layer of the basil leaves across. Just like that. Lots of the celery. Celery gives it such a nice, beautiful flavor. More celery. And then Mushroom. Mmm, delicious. Starting to look really good already without us even having to do anything else with it. Then our green onions. Just a little of that just to add a little kick to it. And then a good bunch of spinach or whatever green you'd like to put in. So now you've got everything lined up here. And I also try to keep it within the confines of where I spread my hummus. Then we begin by taking the collard green wrap and going here. And if you've ever rolled um, sushi, it's pretty much the same process. You're going to take your fingers and stuff it under here, pulling all the material together. And then you're going to take one end, tighten it, roll it over. And then you never pull it tight, tight as you can. Roll that other end over really tight. And then continue to roll the collard green wrap up. It's very fast, as you can see. This is not a long process at all. And once you get it full rolled, voila! Beautiful. Very nice. I'm going to sit it with the rolled side down, pressing it down. 
keep it flat. And the collard green rat is basically served with whatever dipping sauce you'd like. Tonight, personally, not on this video, but I have already made it actually. I should have done a video. I'm making, I made a, um, a yellow bell pepper cucumber tahini sauce in which to dip these. It's very good. Or if you want, you can put it on. Like this, I'm not really serving these until tomorrow. I don't want them to get too soggy with the sauce on them. That's why I serve it as a dipping sauce. So let's do one more, just so we're all on the same page. We got our collard green. We lay it down. A good healthy tablespoon of hummus. Spread it across. It's gonna act as a really good binder for us here. Once you get it spread, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be done. Let's go with our bell peppers. And red bell peppers I like because they have a good sweetness to them. And then a good amount of our sprouts. Alfalfa and other sprouts are in here. Little mini bean sprouts. They're all in here and they're all good for you. That's a big bright fresh flavor. And then just one layer across here of the fresh basil it just adds such a depth of flavor. You can't go with it. And then more shrooms. Again, look at how pretty that looks already. And we haven't even really gotten into it yet. On this one, we're going to put a little more red pepper just to spice it up a bit. And the scallions. The scallions are delicious. They add another little crunch to it and a good healthy dose of spinach. And we are done. Again, this was a slightly bigger leaf. That's why I wanted to do a second one for you here. Because you're going to do the same process. Pull it over and give it a good tuck. Even if some of that is out, don't worry. That's why it's acting as a binder. And then before I even go on, because I know this is a larger leaf, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over on both sides and then begin my wrapping process trying to keep everything as flat as possible when I roll it up here and here we go beautiful now this is trying to unwrap I just tuck it back in there with my finger because I want it to stay nice and neat and voila lap number two seated semi side down and so Thank you for joining me. I'm going to continue wrapping these. I hope that you enjoy them when you make them. Remember, serve them with whatever sauce or salad dressing you like. Um, quick rundown of the cucumber tahini sauce recipe. It's just um, fresh yogurt, unsweetened, plain yogurt, cucumbers, dill, and then the yellow bell peppers all mixed in together with a little bit of garlic. And if you want, you can, no, just keep it like that. Let's keep it simple. Put a little tahini in it and go. All right, thank you and join me next time. Enjoy the collard green wraps and leave.